you've worked with Martin Scorsese, correct? Yeah. Um, was there anything that you learned from him significant, that significantly impacted your career? Sure. Generosity, humility, uh, always looking to the past and, and, and how important film history is uh, to one's education and, and how it informs your work. And I think it's very important. It's very inspiring. So hopefully the movie, in, in some small way, uh, inspires younger filmmakers to discover some of the films that we reference in the film. Right. There's lots of, uh, it's very Criterion-centric. Yeah. I know that he's a big fan of them, and I assume that you are, too. Oh, God, yeah. I used to babysit for uh, producers for Criterion and get Whoa. paid with DVDs, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of amazing. Yeah. Um, you guys make all these, like, suited versions, basically, of the Criterion films, and I heard that you made some actual full-length ones? No. No. Uh, no. <laughs> we, we, the, some of them are a little longer. Yeah. I mean, we just have an impression of them, these jump cuts throughout the film to, right. to give the audience a taste of, of their the great Gaines Jackson oeuvre. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, the longest ones were maybe three minutes. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Um, and you got a couple of guys who worked with Wes Anderson to help you. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ed Bursch and Nate Marsh are from Pittsburgh, and uh, they became kind of the hands of, of, of uh, Greg Gaines and Earl Jackson. That's really awesome. Um, were there any that were your favorites to make? Um, in, Ed and Nate uh, were responsible. Uh, it was a beautiful process how, you know, how, how we all worked together. But the actual shooting of them, I'm, I was there for a few of them in, in, in pre-production. And certainly Don't Look Now uh, is one of my favorite films to spoof because the ending is so specific. And I remember it was so haunting when I saw it and the yeah. fact that it's, like, it's, um, it's Thomas Mann as Donald Sutherland <laughs> with a puppet. <laughs> was was really fun and and uh, and I think that yeah that was one of the I think the most fun um, and then peeping Tom pooping Tom yeah, yeah they're all they're, they're all the titles blast. are great they're amazing they're amazing they're so like juvenile it's like something that I would come up with in junior high and you high see school. some of them you know like my dinner with Andre the Giant you can tell it was made <laughs> from by Gaines Jack it was a Gaines Jackson production maybe when they were eight or ten years old yeah. but you see how this their style their style evolves quite a bit. Um, and uh, I mean, I think uh, Grumpy Cul-de-Sacs, the Mean Streets parody uh, with Johnny Boy's introduction, which is Earl as De Niro, is so inspired and it looks just like it. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, no, it's pretty, pretty spot on. Um, I would say like A Box of Tulips, wow. Wow, yeah. That's a really inspired title. Oh yeah, that whole sequence was, was born out of, uh, I had designed uh, this impossible war parody um, <laughs> that was inspired by Abel Gans's Napoleon with three projectors. It was, you know, it was completely impossible to do, with, you know, with the resources that we had. And, uh, but we wanted this war reference and, um, and Jesse and I talked about it and he came back the next, the next day with, uh, with this box of lips wow <laughs> scene and that was just so gorgeous and it got everything. It just said, it said everything and end and moved the story forward, which is always imp <laughs> important. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you so much for Thanks. your time. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>